So why is it that a 20 year old with 8% returns can beat a 30 year old with 10% returns? 2% difference is pretty sizable in the investment world, but here's exactly why. So today I'm gonna to deep dive into the secret of investing and how easy investing is if you know at an earlier time in life. And there's a lot of TikTokers that are 17 years old making millions of dollars in the stock market supposedly, but I'm a real CPA with real strategies and I'm gonna make this super simple and give you the secret to investing. So before we get started, I want to break down the wealth triangle. We need to understand time, contribution, and asset percent return. These three key pieces of the wealth triangle, as I coined it, will make you extremely wealthy. So let's break down exactly with some examples how this works and plays out. And so most investors do think that return is the biggest and important thing, but I'm going to show you as to why that's not true. So let's walk through our first example. Let's say Jake is 20 and Sarah is 30, and they both begin to invest $1,000 per month. And Sarah believes she's a much more savvy investor in Jake, and in fact, she actually is by 2%. Let's compare both of their portfolios at the age of 50. So from age 20 to 50, Jake returned 8% and he invested $1,000 per month. And Sarah invested the same $1,000 per month, but only invested 20 of those years from age 30 to age 50. And although she returned 10%, 2% better than Jake, she lost in a big way. Jake's balance at the age of 50 is 1.4 million. And Sarah's balance at the age of 50 is 700,000. That is literally half but she returned a lot better than Jake. So let's test some things out here. What if she actually returned 12% versus 10 while Jake was returning 8%? First off, that would be wild. That's 2% of market returns long-term and she would probably not be talking about a YouTube video, but you would probably know her as one of the better investors of all time. However, she would still be short at $864,000. So let's make this a little more fun. What if she returned 15%? I mean, this is what the modern day day trader does claim. So maybe she did. We're talking close to Warren Buffett levels, which is about 20%. Nope, she still only makes $1.2 million, short of Jake still. So to stop guessing, she would actually have to return 16% while Jake returned 8% half, that is a sizable difference in order to match Jake. So let's look at this in a different angle and let's look at Jake and Sarah in a different light. Let's say Jake begins investing from 18 to 30 and invests $1,000 per month. But after 30, Jake throws in the towel and goes down the Elon Musk route. And then Sarah, Elon's her 20s away and rides one too many mechanical bulls in Vegas. But at age 30 to 65, she gets really serious and begins to invest $1,000 per month to catch up with Jake. And let's say they both earn 8% during this time window. So at the age of 65, Jake would end up with 3.4 million and Sarah only $2 million. That is $1.4 million difference. So let's take this one step further. Let's say Sarah earned 10% over that same time as Jake earned 8%. $3.3 million. She still underperforms Jake. Fascinating, right? So let's assume the same example we discussed. So remember, Jake from 18 to 30 invested $1,000 per month and Sarah from from 30 to 65 invested $1,000 per month. And they both invested 8%. And for context, Sarah invested 630,000 and Jake only invested 144,000. The results, the same $3.4 million from earlier, but Sarah, $3.1 million. So what's the secret to investing? Jake seemed to underperform Sarah in a big way this entire time. However, one thing he had the entire time was time. And time matters in a huge way. And so this isn't to discourage somebody that's starting late in life, but it is to encourage somebody to start right this second and stop waiting because it is so important and it is cheaper to invest now than waiting for a better time because the best time to invest is now and the better time to invest was 20 years ago. And so time is obviously the big factor here and that's why Warren Buffett's 99% of his net worth came after the age of 50. Good things do take time and trying to get rich quick just does not work. So good luck traders. Remember long-term investors are always gonna win because few can actually do this from a behavior perspective. Think of it like this. You're turning on the crock pot and letting your money roast for a long period of time. And and then you can actively focus on your income during this period and add more contribution to that pot. And you can actually control two out of the three factors of the wealth triangle in this puzzle. And then as long as you're the index or ETF, you can beat probably about 90% of investors. The get rich quick guy is always gonna try to outpace you and tell you what's the next shiny object, but they continue to lose because they don't have time on their side and they keep trading away their assets to other people like myself to then hold on to for the long haul and actually make real money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions pertaining to what we talked about today, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I will make sure I respond to you and I will see you next Monday.